Hello everyone, welcome to you on my channel. Today we are going to learn if error function for negative values to convert blank or 0 and fix number value error. When we are working, you will face these problems. Use a formula. This Excel tutorial explains how to use if error function to catch errors like number value, negative value and division value errors in Excel. Sometimes we use formulas and instead of results we get errors like value error, negative values. How to fix these errors? Today we are going to learn. Let us begin. This is my data today and I will show you there is one error which is coming. It is called value error or my data add value will become negative here. For example, if I am going to delete the date from here, it is showing a negative value. I do not want to sh share here the value as negative. I want to reflect my value as either 0 or none. The cell should be blank how it can be. It is very easy. You need to just write a formula. I have written for you here. For your clear understanding, I will explain the formula here. What I use the formula at the moment? I subtracted H8 minus G8. What is H8 and G8? It is actual minus end date minus start date. So, it will give me the exact date what I needed. So, now we are using here the if formula. I will show you this one. See, I am going to write here if formula for you. If bracket started here greater than or equals to 0 comma and both the information this H8 minus G8 repeat them again back and right here comma and if you need to be, uh, reflect as a 0 value you will just write 0 and close the bracket. You can see here now if I am deleting it will reflect you the 0 value but I do not want the 0 as well here what I need to do it. I will just go again my formula and what I will do? I will just two inverted commas and that is it. See, it is blank now. But what happened here? My this value also becomes giving me a value error. How to fix this value error? It is very easy. Just use it here. I will explain it to you. If error error comma and two inverted commas that is it. You can see it here now there is no error value it is showing blank. Actually what I did it here if you if you see it here I multiplied by percentage completion with actual days to get my number. But what happens when it is blank here? It is giving me error. So, what I did? I use the formula and now it is blank. And now when I am putting any of the date here, it is giving me the number of days. So, it is very easy. Just needs to remember these two formulas which I wrote written in these cells. That is all. Thank you very much. Feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving, if you have not already subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos. Provide your feedback in comments.